Hey guys, Dungeon J here. So today, this is actually a really fast updated video because there's some pertinent information that came out from uh, World of Warcraft and the Blizzard team. So we've got a message over here at the Wowhead Classic, and I think it's kind of important that we read and digest exactly what they're talking about because it's going to pertain to a lot of the things in the future. It looks like Classic is uh, definitely on the horizon. But anyway, so we're going to dive in and I'm going to kind of dissect this uh, message just a little bit. We're going to kind of skip around. I'm not going to read everything verbatim uh, because, guys, you know that's not how I roll. So remember, if you like this style of content, to go ahead and give a thumbs up and subscribe. But we're going to go ahead and dive in. So obviously, I believe that some of this is going into uh, a, a, a damage control. Over the last few weeks, over the last month and a half, two months, World of Warcraft, Activision Blizzard has been a, a very tumultuous place, uh, a buzz in the industry. There's been a lot of negativity cast on them. And guys, I don't know where it's going to settle at the end of the day. I can already tell you that when I play TBC Classic, when I log in over there to do PvP and stuff like that, I, I can already tell that the player base is greatly diminished from where it used to be. And this is even uh, more so uh, past when Asmongold moved on uh, with uh, the drama. I, in particular, as far as what that workplace is, I think has played a major role and as far as how many people are actually committed and want to be a part of Blizzard, it doesn't mean that I, in particular, agree with any of the uh, morales or things that have happened in the past with the Blizzard culture, because I sure as hell don't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and dive in. I'm going to kind of just uh, dissect this a little bit. So here we go. Uh, to the WoW community. Over the past few weeks, since we shared an update, the WoW team has been focused on the immediate future. Obviously, they've got to be focused on the immediate future because it's looking pretty dire. And there's been a lot of things that have gone on. Heads have rolled. And uh, it's up to people like content creators, uh, news media, to keep that ball rolling, to keep that eye on the focus of Blizzard, to making sure they're doing the right thing. And hopefully that's something that we'll do. We've seen this uh, addressed in other major game companies across uh, uh, the, the workplace. And hopefully that this culture can get changed as well because there's still a lot of good people that do work at Blizzard. But uh, as part of this, the entire team has came together to ask, what are the biggest things we're hearing that are getting in the way of your fun and what are the most impactful changes we can make to WoW today to fix them. Dude, they've waited way too long on this horse. That's all I've got to say. They've waited way too long to try to fix some of these changes. But uh, here we go. Maybe something good can happen of it. This is also how we kind of got classic WoW to begin with, if you guys remember. But uh, like I said, we got to see where this goes. Microtransactions are not our friend. I do not like them. The boost in TBC, I did not like this. This is not something that uh, I thought was needed, and um, but they implemented it anyway. This is an important statement. They said, for our Burning Crusade Classic players, we're excited to let you know that they're going to have their first major content update, and that's the Overlords of the Outland, and it's going to be going live soon. So that's pretty good, and that's going to be starting September 15th. You'll be able to take on the Prince uh, Cal and Lady Vaj, in a pair of iconic raids, engage in a new season of arena combat and more. So there you go. There's our first content update for TBC, if people that are still interested in that. And then we're also working on something for WoW Classic players who have told us they'd like a chance at a fresh start, and we'll be sharing more of their plans soon. All right, so there you go. So it's pretty much confirmed Classic Fresh. So what does that mean? And we're going to really need to dive into that. Now, we already know that they, uh, they popped some stuff up on the PTR. There's been some released information as far as the PTR. So we knew there was something coming. Now it's confirmed. There's going to be some kind of classic fresh. Now is this classic fresh plus content? I don't know. We can see about that. Maybe that might happen. But I got to tell you, if they are doing classic fresh plus, there's going to be some major changes. Hopefully it doesn't mean cash shop stuff, if you get what I'm saying. And really it comes down to what do you guys think? I mean, would you be willing to give uh, World of Warcraft a, a new go if they did fresh vanilla? Would you be hyped for this? How would you feel about that? Especially with uh, a lot of the things that I've been hearing about uh, people that like PvE servers. Which is real in particular when you think about classic vanilla and the PvE servers they offered, which was for uh, most people a big deal. It was a huge community at that time. I really don't think the community is going to be as large as the first go. I think they're trying to recatch that uh, magic in a bottle the third time. 
and the third time you know they're gonna to have to do something a lot different and hopefully like i said before it isn't microtransactions but i still don't think the community is going to be as large whatever the case uh, i'd love to hear your comments down below this is dungeon j i'm gonna go ahead and sign out guys have a great day gaming later i'm just walking the line and there's nobody with me